Are you looking to enhance the visual appeal of your website? Well, look no further. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to add a justified image grid with filter option in Elementor using the free add-on, Happy Add-ons Justified Grid Widget. You can easily create this type of image grid, as you are currently viewing, and add multiple images. Additionally, you can group images with categories for free. First things first, make sure you have Elementor installed on your WordPress website. Once you've got that covered, head over to the plugin settings and install Happy Add-ons. All right, now that we've got Happy Add-ons installed, Let's jump right into creating our justified image grid with filter option. I'm currently using the Cadence theme with Elementor, but don't worry, you can follow along regardless of your theme choice. Here we are in Elementor. Now let me show you how easy it is to add this awesome widget to any page or post. Simply drag and drop the Justified Image Gallery widget onto your desired section. Now let's incorporate a few images and assign each group of images to a filter. The filter names will be used in the filter menu. With Happy Add-ins, you have a wide range of customization options right at your fingertips. You can choose the height of the images, adjust the margin between images, select image resolution, and much more. And there you have it, friends. Adding a justified image grid with filter option in Elementor has never been easier, thanks to Happy Addons. And here's the best part. The justified image grid is fully responsive. That means it'll look great no matter what device your visitors are using, whether it's a desktop, tablet, or smartphone. It automatically adjusts its width to fit the screen size perfectly. I forgot to mention one more thing. You can also adjust the color and font size of the filter menu from the style tab if needed.
That's it for today's video. You can find the plugin link in the video description. Give it a try on your website and share your experience with us. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials similar to this one. Until next time, happy designing.